This is this is a trip of a lifetime. We were after Axis deer. There is a ton of them here. This is gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a mixed bag of a lot of stuff. Look at graveyard in here. This man right here is a legend. You gotta be Bob the Butcher. Oh, for one. This is gonna be difficult. Tight fit. Yeah. We'll see you later. I got it. Nice. <sighs> I stopped the Feeling. She feels good. You're shooting good, right? Yeah. Carbos made the long trek without getting knocked off, which is a good start. Shooting real quick to make sure we're good to go. We got the legendary Bob the Butcher. Okay, so for real though. He's guiding us, which is yeah, Drew and a sweet I, surprise. This man right here is a legend. Every, like, every person we've talked to that's come to Lanai is like, you gotta meet Bob the Butcher, Bob the Butcher, Bob the Butcher. We're hunting with Bob the Butcher for the next four days, so we're in the presence of a legend right here. <laughs> a legend in my own mind. <laughs> so the does have like, I don't know, they've probably got 20 sounds. Okay. But the main ones you're gonna hear is, is like a bark from the does, and the bucks are gonna have a full blown yell. I mean, just. Is that it more of a hear. roar or a bugle? It's neither. It's a yell. Okay. You'll trip out. It's, and each one has their own voice. And are these deer rutting at all different times? Or they're, okay. No, no. So everybody thinks that they breed and they they rut you around. So technically what it is is they're, they're, they're off their light cycle closer to the equator. So what it is is it, it's their, their rut's been extended. So it's like from mid-May to like the first week of July heavy. And so you'll have bucks breeding at the beginning and the end. So that kind of makes that three month period, makes that horns, velvet, everything look like we have a year round production, but it's not. They mostly okay. drop all twin fawns in the spring. And so they're from India, which kind of, so it, coming name over name here, th the threw them off. Is what? Is their name is the Chital. Chital. Yeah, that's the Indian name for them, from India. Huh, interesting. <laughs> Uh, I see that one on the right. All bucks in the too. It's a bad It looked like it was, yeah. So are you uh you going for the first stop? Hey, I think what we we can rock, paper, scissors if you want. Yeah, that's a good one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well we are in Hawaii. We're in Lanai. I say that right? Yep. And uh, this this is beautiful out here. I mean this is this is a trip of a lifetime for Drew and I. We got the invite to come out here, absolutely could not turn it down. We have not been here long. Bob the Builder is a legend. We have been told by Bob the Builder. Sorry, sorry. Oh, Bob, isn't that I was that cartoon with the kid, yes, right? The little is. Mexican kid, yeah. right? Okay. I'm sorry to offend been... you that early. I don't even have cable on it though. Bob the Butcher is a local legend here, and we're lucky enough that he's going to be hunting with us the next four days. Uh, we were after Axis deer. There is a ton of them here. We've got a bunch of bucks bedded down right here. This is gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a mixed bag of a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm excited that we actually just rode around on the uh, kind of up on the mountain in the thick timber, which I didn't even realize that we could hunt up there. So I'm excited to get back up there, but we're gonna mess around in this kind of open country. I mean, until, until it cools down. Until it cools yeah. down. Yeah. Head up, we'll go back head up, up the mountain. Yeah. But there's some really cool spots up on that mountain. Yeah, I'm this is this is a trip of a lifetime. So give me a rundown real quick. We like we're not strictly trophy buck hunting. You want us 
to yeah, no, do, like if we get an opportunity at a doe to take a doe take it man because that's why i'm the bob the butcher it's a the people don't understand the real trophy of leaving lanai is going home with 40 pounds of the best meat you've ever had and i mean like i said so I, i'm one of those hunters that i i take what god gives me if it steps out in front i'm shooting at it yeah you know, kind of a deal so well we're not here to be picky i promise you and like i said <laughs> so. you know like i said before my all my best deer and my best sheep have always come when i'm not paying attention yeah. right? looking at my shoes whatever i'm doing that's not paying attention <laughs> So, I've learned to give up and it seems to work the yeah. best for me. So. <laughs> yeah, y'all hang with us in this episode. We're going to be showing you guys a lot. I asked him what the odds like. Shoot to me straight. What are the odds? They were like, low. <laughs> <laughs> when we get to this dead tree, we've already cut the distance in half. looking right at us. Oh for one. <laughs> On to the next one. <sighs> Stuff's thick man. It's hard yeah. to get through and be quiet. I am cut up. Yeah I'm bleeding. Pants are gonna be destroyed. Place. This is where they were all bedded. Yeah, this is where they were all laying down. Got a dead one Dude, right there. Dude, another one, look. It's like a graveyard in here. Are you... That, that, that. <laughs> Whoa, that'll make you feel real dumb. That's what that'll do. That'll make you feel real dumb. Oh, wait till you hear what happened. Oh, we want to hear it. We're did dying. you did you see it happen? We saw a bunch of it happen. Welcome to the wonderful, horrible world of Axis Gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe that those two bucks sat under that tree. It looks like they're working their way back down just around this other little bend here. It's probably the last move we're going to be able to make before the sun sets. There's deer all over the place. We might just walk up on one. Yeah, she was at 86 yards looking right at me. There's one barking up on the hill. I mean, there's no way she would have jumped this train for sure. Did you see all those turkeys roosting that tree right there? It's crazy. There's like. I didn't realize how much upland game birds there were. Yeah. Checking out Bob the Butcher's humble abode. Hey, fellas. Is this Joe's buck right here? That's Joe's. That's, that's Greg Reds. That's Dean Capuana, and this is Jim Shockey's up here. Like this is this Shockey's that's right a, here? No, this one. That's me. Oh, that's a big one. That is a monster. That's what we're going to kill tomorrow. Uh, one of those we saw today. It's a little bit out of expectation. It didn't have that mask, but it was. It was had a pretty we good saw mask. One that was so hey, not that mask. Not that mask. <laughs> I, I swear. Okay, well, so, here's the deal. So, I think the. I think the one we saw was bigger. Honestly, 149 and three quarters. And and we so saw two he measured that at 156. That. Yeah, we saw some 170s. If this was 156, we saw a few 170s. We let him walk. <laughs> <laughs> Bob the Builders. Oh, <laughs> I gotta look at yeah. this guy. We're gonna get you a shirt that says Bob the Builder. <laughs> this place is so bizarre. There's so many different noises out here. A lot of variety. 
made a noise. There's wild roosters all over the place. They're, they're uh, cockadoodle doing their heads off. We're back up on the mountain, and uh, this is a major crossing where they've set up this permanent blind. The plan is to shoot the first deer that we see, first mature deer that we see. Or rooster. Yeah, or rooster. I kind of want a rooster. specific instructions to shoot all roosters. We can probably eat that thing. I can. I'm sure Bob the Butcher has a great rooster recipe. A little change of plan. We were hearing deer back here, but we haven't heard anything for the last hour. We're going to get up and move around and check these couple canyons that we looked at yesterday. And uh, try to glass one up or just bump into one. There's a major crossing over. gonna be difficult she's at 50 yards wasn't like had no clue that I was there as soon as I released yeah she's these gone. suckers are spooky it looked like my arrow went right where I was aiming I gotta find that arrow because I'm <laughs> that's three arrows down this morning I think you're up for the sake of ammo <laughs> now up to bat let's go to that canyon that we kind of went to yesterday I think we just sit there and kind of see if something meanders through. Can we find my arrow first? Yeah, we can look for your arrow. <laughs> I need it. That's a poke across this canyon. How far is it? 90. 80 yards to that bottom trail. I think they're pretty much done for the morning. They're probably laid up for the day. There's no shortage of critters around here though. But 
these suckers are freaking hard to kill. All right, guys, wanted to give you all a little bit of a background on how this trip came to be. This is a dream trip for us, something we never really ever thought would ever happen to us. Um, Y'all probably heard of Lanai hunting, access deer hunting in Hawaii um, from some big names like Joe Rogan. He's come out here with the outfitter we're at. Um, it's called High Adventure Company. And a little background on how we kind of came to meet those guys. We were seeking deer hunting in Maryland last October. Ran into a guy named John Burl, who I think you had tried to talk to before. Was able to connect there. They basically offered up a free trip to us in exchange for some marketing. Opportunity and invitation of a lifetime could not turn that down. Um, to show this place to you guys, obviously it's beautiful here. The hunting is insane. It's action packed. And, and show you guys basically what Lanai has to offer. Y'all can book this trip. It's really not that hard. The travel is like nine hours here, one way flight from Atlanta. Uh, there's a couple places you can stay. The Four Seasons is the main resort here on this island. It's super nice. The food's incredible. The accommodations are amazing. It's literally paradise. Yes, so you could probably trick your wife to come on out here and uh, think she's just on some Hawaiian vacation while you slip away in the mornings and evenings to go access to your hunting. Um, but this place has a lot to offer trip of a lifetime again just wanted to show you guys uh what it's like out here and if you're interested high adventure company is definitely who you need to reach out to yeah so high adventure company is also doing a quail hunt giveaway at barnsley gardens in georgia it's just right outside of atlanta so we're going to put the details on how to enter that just that uh giveaway in the description of the video we'll also put their website if you guys are interested in booking a trip with them um highly recommend it this is been one of the coolest hunting experiences i've ever had yeah we still have amazing. one afternoon left to get it done with a bow um so let's get back into it hopefully we'll get one down this afternoon we'll see wind is good all right we just drove this road and we passed by a big group of does there's probably they're probably like 100 yards down that's gully so we just bailed out of the truck they kept going we're gonna ease back up this road and keep peering over and see if we can't get a bow shot you see him shot opportunities we're hunting with our buddy Jason this morning after talking with him in the truck he basically said he's a very very experienced bow hunter out here he basically said what we've been dealing with the last day and a half is almost no wind and when it's dead still like this he said these deer are so jumpy they can hear the bow and they're whipping out of there before the arrow gets there and he said it makes it almost impossible to bow hunt when it's dead still like this so we've got the rifle out this morning we're gonna do a little spot and stalk through this really tall grass. The wind's supposed to pick up today, which will be good for bow hunting, so we'll probably pick up the uh, bows back this afternoon, slip through this stuff, and see if we can't get back on them with a bow, but I'm taking the old rifle this morning. Is 
Yeah. Over. Run you. Should have been right at the base of the neck. You sure? I thought he dropped. I, thought he I think dropped I dropped. I think I hit him right at the base of the head. Is he dead? I think he's down, yeah. All I could see is just, I, they got onto our wind. Yeah. It popped up, I saw his white patch, no. put it right here. Looks like a pretty good bug. He's in velvet too. Velvet. Hey. Sweet. Oh, that's the way to get out. Could have shot him with What's the, the button when we go, that was easy. <laughs> I'm shaking right now. I am too. I don't know if it's from having to hold that's the camera That's the first up. deer I've killed with a rifle and I can't even tell you how many years. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, man. Go it's man. cool to pull the trigger on something and it goes bang. <laughs> I know, right? We, we could have maybe had a bone with it. How far away did we first see him? 150. Kind of yeah. down in this ditch, and then all of a sudden they disappeared in this ditch for a second. In 40 Boom. seconds, he was there. Yeah. yeah. They cover a lot of ground out here fast. Yeah, yeah man. Congrats, buddy. He's done. Heck yeah. How about that? Nice. Good shot. That was the only shot that he gave me. I mean, I just, it, because that one deer spooked over there, it got his attention and he poked up and you just, just see that white patch. He's pretty. It's a pretty big bodied deer. Yeah. Yeah, he's got plenty of meat on him. Yeah, I'm really excited for the meat. Full velvet. Yeah, I died. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> I should have taken the rifle this morning. That was cool, man. I like shooting them with a rifle. Honestly, that's a treat. We really don't get to, uh, we mostly hunt archery zones, so we really don't get to shoot a gun very often. That was pretty cool. That was special. And our scenery ain't so bad either. Brought you a present. I think it was just who we were hunting with. <laughs> Since I'm the only one that does velvet, you watch how expensive this is going to be. <laughs> well, I thought we were friends. We were up until that comment. <laughs> I'm sensitive, remember? I told you guys I'm sensitive. I have a hard time believing that. All right, guys, so <clears throat> that is going to wrap up the first video for us, Access to Your Hunting in Hawaii. Uh, learned a lot. This is very foreign territory to us, so there's absolutely a learning curve anywhere new you go. Luckily, we had Bob and Jason here, some locals that kind of helped us show the ropes. And I think the biggest thing we learned is one, these deer are super hard to hunt. There's a lot of them, but they're highly pressured, super skittish, always turned on, and with no wind, it makes it super hard to bow hunt. It's been really fun. We're gonna wrap this video up now. The next video, we're about to go hunting again right now. We got another buck tag and two more doe tags. Appreciate you guys watching. We got to roll. The chef himself. They, hey, thank you for taking us out. No worries. I know that this is not what you normally do. This is what you normally do. Trust me, they have me like 30 days in the last six months. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. No, it's no problem. We just yeah. had like tough conditions. Yeah. Get out there. <laughs> we'll be back. Yeah, you bet.